Welcome to Medical Discovery News. I'm Dr. Norbert Herzog. And I'm Dr. David Niesel. Norbert, do you remember as a kid singing Dem Bones? Yeah, but I'm not going to sing it for you. Well, thank goodness, because I've got something better. The leg bone's connected to the knee bone. The knee bone's connected to the thigh bone. Did you get your students to sing this? That's pretty cool. Yeah, she sounds great, right? Anyway, it's a perfect segue into our episode about a bone called the fabella. Ooh, I know. Here's a modern take on dem bones. The fabella is connected to the knee Whoa, bone. Whoa, leave the singing to the students, will you? Thanks, Norbert. Fine, I'll stop. But listen, the fabella has a cool story. So it's a small bone in one of the tendons in the back of your knee, but through evolution has been mostly lost. What's crazy is the fabella is making a comeback in human populations. Researchers have examined the structure of the knee in more than 20,000 cases over 150 years. In 1918, just 11% of people had it. But a century later, in 2018, almost 40% of people have it. That's a fourfold increase in hardly a blink of evolutionary time. So why is this bone reappearing? Mainly because we're better nourished, have longer shin bones and calf muscles, and we're taller. This changes the mechanical dynamics of how we move, the forces on our bones and skeleton. This means our knees work harder, which may favor the formation of the fabella. Of course, genetic influences can't be ruled out. We don't know the true function of the fabella in the knee, but here's evidence that humans are still evolving. We are doctors David Niesel and Norbert Herzog at the University of Texas Medical Branch and the Frank H. Netter School of Medicine at Quinnipiac University, where biomedical discovery shaped the future of medicine. For much more and our disclaimer, go to medicaldiscoverynews.com. 